chocolate. For some people, food is a wow experience. It's yummy, it's delightful, it's fun. For other people, food is the worst thing that's ever happened to them in their lives. And this is one of the most controversial and upsetting cow poo topics that I can chat with you about. Disordered eating. The definition of disordered, eat disordered eating is that you feel guilty when you eat food. And some of you, as you're watching this, you're even getting angry with me that I've got chocolate on the screen. It's like, don't put chocolate in front of me because I have to eat it. And that is disordered eating and I can't put it any more simple or plain. Because somebody that has no guilt feelings attached to food, or somebody who loves food and is not emotionally attached to food, if they feel like some chocolate, they'll have some. And then they'll eat it and enjoy it and then forget about it. If you are emotionally attached to your food, and there's a scale from zero to, to 10, and if you're at the 10 scale, it means that food is controlling your life. That everywhere you go, and every time you see food, there's a, a war going on inside your head, a war between should I or shouldn't I eat this food? This food's going to make me fat, this food's going to make me feel sick, I feel guilty when I eat this food, I shouldn't eat this food, it's a bad food, I don't want to eat this food, it's going to make me fat, but I want to eat this food, it's really yummy. And it's like a nuclear war in your own head. And that's when food is in full control of your life, when disordered eating then could become an eating disorder. You're either obese, you're anorexic or you're bulimic, simply meaning food is controlling your life and what's happening now is you either win the battle, so you don't eat anything or eat as little as possible, or you lose the battle and you eat whatever you possibly can and then feel really guilty about it. This is a very in-depth topic obviously, but the reason I wanted to share it with you is that around about, depending on the statistics that you look at, around about 80 to 90% of females in the Western world have some kind of disordered eating. So if you're feeling guilty about your food, what we've got to do is make sure that you're not. We've got to put you in a position where you love food, you enjoy it, it makes you feel fantastic, and every time you sit down to eat food, you say, this was yummy and I loved it, versus I feel guilty. So it might be time to have a serious chat with somebody about how you're feeling about your food. No cow poo.